Ignition sequence starts. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor and I have an 11 year old that's breathing down my neck because he's out of school. He wants me to take him to get breakfast. I said, but my audience needs a video. Let me do my video <coughs> and then maybe we can talk about it. I want to give a shout out to Big Skinny who is the official smart aleck of the Digital Asset Investor channel. We haven't seen from him in a little while, but he's being a smart aleck to Elon Musk, and we love it. He says, Elon, you must not know or care what happens in your business. If you did, you would have seen thousands of people asking to reinstate the DAI account. He only has 300K, 347,000 followers, but clearly you don't want, you don't walk your talk. Here is Elon Musk talking. God, no, I don't, I don't want it at all, but I'm, what I'm trying, even came up though in the annual meeting, I mean, you know, do your tweets hurt the company? Are there Tesla owners who say, I don't agree with his political position because, and I know it because he shares so much of it. Or are there advertisers on Twitter that Linda Yaccarino will come and say, you got to stop, man. Or, you know, I can't get these ads because of some of the things you tweet. And then he pontificates for a minute and stares off into space and then basically says, I don't care. Very great. Um, where he can find Here it is. Offer me power. I don't care. So in other words, Elon Musk should be able to say whatever he wants to say, but not everybody on his platform because I got turned off for nothing. I got turned off, by the way, just shortly after Stephen Naryoff came onto the scene and I started covering some of what he was saying. Now. I don't know what this Amelia um, Crypto Barbie is thinking, but she, I can't show it because there's music in the background. I, th I don't know if that's a, a little a hit, but let me see if I can find a graphic of it. There is a 34,380 or 37,124 XRP glitch. Amelia, you're not allowed to show these things, even though it's the holiday season. I've never seen the crypto police and the crypto Gestapo take a breath or stop. They have to be telling you what you're allowed to say and not say. They have to be telling you how much smarter they are than you. You can't do that because I didn't say you could. Because I know more than you do. I am so smart. Amelia, you should know this. You're not allowed to say these things. You can't just put a tweet out. You have to filter it through the crypto police Gestapo. What are you thinking? But it's the holiday season and the digital asset investor has your back. I will show it because I don't give a rat's behind what the crypto Gestapo or crypto police think. And that's the way America should be. Used to be anyway before the cancel culture came along. Look at Ripple, as the saying goes, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. We've outlined tips to help you spot crypto giveaway scams, including the recent surge in deep fakes and how to keep you and your friends safe. I would say this, folks, if it sounds and looks stupid, don't do it. Because all of them look so stupid. All right, Dark Defender, who has the hashtag free DAI on his chart. I love it. Hi all XRP formed a cup and handle pattern in the daily time frame. We set targets for a dollar five, dollar eighty eight with the Elliott waves. Now the cup handle pattern is also blinking XRP to reach target. Can the handle be extended towards fifty two cent support? We still need to close under the primary support of sixty cents two days um, in a row, so the answer in the moment is no. The main structure is still in place. XRP is expected to hit a dollar five and a dollar eighty-eight in the short term. I like it. Now, folks, I am no Bitcoin guy, but I do I do own I did accumulate one Bitcoin in my iTrust Capital IRA. Link to that's in the top of the description. I think they give you a hundred dollars worth of crypto if you click on my link or whatever. I think it's something like that. Anyway. 
If we know anything about Mike Novogratz, we know that Mike Novogratz bets dimes to donuts. And the reason he bets dimes to donuts is because he operates and invests with information that the, the rest of us don't have. Okay? So when you hear Mike Novogratz say something like this, in my opinion, you should listen because he's operating on information that you do not have. And that's a good thing if you listen. This being put in portfolios all over the world. When BlackRock talks, people listen. Um, we will get an ETF. I think we'll get it this year. I think he's betting dimes to donuts here. Listen close. He thinks we'll get it this year. It won't start trading till next year, but it'll be approved this year. So that's probably December, December 1st. That's a big, big deal. Uh, that opens up the Bitcoin market to all the institutions in the United States. And so the Fed has finished hiking rates. They will be cutting rates in April or May uh, and probably pretty dramatically. That's good tailwind for Bitcoin. And global uncertainty, gold, silver, you know, real estate, hard assets, Bitcoin are all in my portfolio. Um, what is it I've been telling you on this channel, folks? You just heard it. He told you exactly what to do. Now, Brian Kelly is, is back on CNBC to always also tell you. And Brian Kelly is also acting on information that you and I don't have. We are just in the early innings of a new crypto bull market. Let's welcome a very special yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Brian Kelly. Yes. It's great Good. to be here. Great to be back. What's new, BK? I mean, I, yeah, what's I, new? I, what's I, new? Yeah, I mean, the audience. Yeah. Is there, you know, but you've been you've been operating your Bitcoin fund still. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. Still, um, still involved in Bitcoin every day, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, never stops. Um, but it's been um, it's been an interesting year. You know, I mean, in the last year, we've had gone from everything from FTX to now all of a sudden Argentina, potentially, you know, they've elected a pro-Bitcoin president. So the momentum and sentiment has changed dramatically in that part. And then not to mention all the, the potential Bitcoin ETF filings that are still in the wings here. Right. So where do you see, you know, you don't have a price target necessarily on Bitcoin. Yeah. But what are you thinking in terms of so, where you are now? So there's a couple things. We know in the past that Bitcoin has had these two-year cycles that are generally centered around the happening, And so we have another happening coming up in April. And I'm not one of those people that thinks the happening is the actual catalyst, but it's one of those sentiment things that all of a sudden now you have a reduction in supply. Couple that with the fact that we have the Federal Reserve that is likely done for some time being of, of raising rates. If not, we don't think they're going to go to 10 percent. Maybe they go to five and a half, right? And then the second part of that is we now have these ETF filings. So for the first time ever, just like the gold ETF, you're going to have retail investors, not that they couldn't buy it before, but now registered investment advisors, your Morgan Stanley wealth manager can allocate to this. And so that's what's got the market excited about this new ETF. All right, Beeks, you just named a bunch of catalysts for the Bitcoin to keep going higher. What do you think the core is? You know, is it just digital gold, uh, you know, versus like we often hear lots of folks come on and just say they should be allocated to that. You know, we've had the dollar come in and obviously Bitcoin has been trading pretty yeah. well with that. What's the core thesis right now? If you've missed out this run over the last last year and sentiment was really bad a year ago right. at this time and now it's up what 200 percent or so why should people be allocating low single digits percentage of their investable capital to bitcoin right now so i think the easiest way to think about it is digital gold if you have a portfolio and you've got some all right you get it they are carrying this narrative because they are wanting their wall street has has positioned itself to pump their bags and i believe that they're pumping their bitcoin bags and they know, I believe it's a, my personal opinion is I believe it's a short to midterm thing that they want to do. And I think that they're, they want to pump, pump their stuff. But you better believe that they have the real thing out in the wings is what they're really accumulating. I mean, I think that they plan on making a bunch of money on Bitcoin. But look, this is the same guy. Remember, there was a reason back in 2017 and 18 XRP was the top performer and every all of these people knew all of these people knew the market knew that XRP was the thing the market still knows but it's be, it has been and I believe is still being held back intentionally that's why I can I will continue to accumulate the good stuff now I'm going to I'm getting I've gotten a little bit of bitcoin because I think there's going to be a lot of money that made there I'll likely will dump that into XRP if XRP has not ripped yet when it does rip. But check this out. This, the this is Brian Kelly. And remember, CNBC, I don't know what happened, but 
somewhere in November, December 2017, all of these people were told, stop talking about XRP. Don't talk about Ripple or XRP anymore unless you want to say something bad about it. Because up until that point, they were doing this. A breakout coin, and if so, how do you even buy it? Well, fear not, because they they're were very teaching people how to BK buy XRP. To Ryan exactly Kelly, same guy. Now they act like they don't even understand yeah, sure. it. Sure. So Ripple has been on an absolute tear, and and just to add to what Seema talked about, what Ripple really is going after is the SWIFT network or international payment transfer. So what you're talking about here is an upgrade of the international financial system, and that's a very big market. So that's why people are very excited about it. So let's go to uh, Poloniex and figure to Poloniex, out how do we they buy show you how to so buy it. Here I All right. They don't want to acknowledge this video. They they don't they never no, these are the same people they taught their customers, they taught their viewers how to buy it. And then they never even spoke about what was going on in the in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. They just sat, left it alone and we tried to bring it to their attention. Now, um, yesterday, this is relevant too. Yesterday, the Justice Department is seeking more than four billion dollars from Binance to end criminal case against the ex, against the crypto exchange. Okay, they're not going after J.P. Morgan for manipulating the silver. The Justice Department did nothing about them manipulating the silver. Uh, they're not going after J.P. Morgan for their affiliation with that guy with the island, who we'll talk about in the group today, the, the private group at daixrp.com today, um, but. They're going after Binance because they need to crush Binance. Wall Street's had to sit on the sidelines and watch this guy make billions for years now. They need to crush him so that they can take all that market share. So the Justice Department is seeking $4 billion from Binance to end the criminal case against the crypto exchange. Now, it's important to note, this is from January 12, 2018. This is also CNBC teaching you how to buy XRP, but this time they're teaching you how to buy it on Binance, who the Justice Department's going after now. ...that actually uses Ripple instead of just Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Bitcoin Cash. And to do that, we're going to have to send the Ethereum to another exchange. In this case, I'm using Binance, but there are several others, including BitSane, that I've used before, too. Once you're on the Binance so page, I don't know what that logged, music's you want to go about. to the top I'm going to end it here. You'll see some so here they are teaching their their they're teaching everyone how to buy on Binance. Okay. Now, let's look at this. SEC filed a lawsuit against Kraken yesterday for illegally illegally operating an online crypto trading platform. So they let they let the the investors that they're supposed to be protecting for what is it ten to twelve years to buy and sell and to trade on, on Kraken, and now they're gonna sue Kraken and act like they've done something wrong? Does that help or, or hurt those investors, is my question. Couldn't they have helped them more 10 years ago if they were so worried about it? And then Jeremy Hogan says, apparently the $30 million the SEC got from Kraken back in February wasn't enough. It had to sue them again for more. Everyone feel protected again? John Deaton says, make no mistake about it, the SEC is worried about the Coinbase, um, what is that, um, motion to dismiss. The SEC is worried about the Coinbase motion to dismiss pending the, S, uh, new, that's uh, the uh, Department of New York, what's the S in that? Uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank, anyway. The case is filed in the Northern District of California. Then John Deaton points out another important thing. The SEC filed against Library in the First Circuit, against Ripple and Coinbase in the Second Circuit, against Dragon Chain and Kraken in the Ninth Circuit. Gary Gensler is hedging his bets. He will ultimately lose. <clears throat> okay, then we've got this from Ashley Prosper. The SEC going after Kraken again, labeling 11 tokens as securities that have been listed in other lawsuits uh, against Coinbase and Binance. <coughs> so they're saying now, <coughs> excuse me, they're saying now that um, ADA, Algo, Atom, File, Flow, ICP, Mana, Matic, Near, OMG, and Solana, those are all securities. This once again led by the most incompetent lawyer in the SEC, Horg Tenrero. That's the guy that went after Ripple. 
The list of cryptos is inexhaustive and includes all the cryptos named in other lawsuits besides XRP. XRP is not named because Gary got corrected. Um, then Senator Cynthia Loomis, the SEC cannot continue to rule by enforcement. My statement on the Kraken lawsuit. Oh, yes, they can, Senator Loomis, because you and all your buddies in Congress on both sides of the aisle are nothing but talk. You could have put Gary in a box a long time ago if you all really had some guts. You have none. Gary's going to do whatever Gary wants because you are all either on his team or you have no guts. You're all talk, which is why none of you should be in office. I would, if it was my choice, I'd kick all of your butts off, all of you that have done nothing regarding uh, the crypto. Um, now. We're going off into the private group, and here's what we're going to talk about. We've got JP Morgan. We've got Apollo Global. They're all intertwined. we got MIT. we got Gary Gensler. we got Jay Clayton. All these bad guys are all intertwined, and we're going to talk about, and, it, and it, there is some deep, dark stuff, too, folks, and we're going into it in DAIXRP.com. Uh, that's my private member group. You can go in there, and you get... Um, <clears throat> You don't have to watch any commercials, so you get to watch the full video you just watched with no commercials, plus an additional, usually between five and even 15, 20 minutes um, of, of content in there. Plus, you can talk to everybody and see what's going on. We also did a, um, we did a Zoom about a week ago, me and Brad Combs did, and we'll probably do another one here, here soon. I'm, I'm going to talk to him about it today. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, tell your friends and family. If you want to hear about what's really going on that I haven't been able to talk about out here on YouTube or on Twitter. Oh, by the way, I'm also talking to the lawyer today. My letter is about to happen when it, with regard to X. So anyway. Go to DAIXRP.com for more on all the above, and we'll see you in the group. Here we go.